Yeah, you know it. You know where we're at. Hey. What kind of donut am I having today? Good. What are you having today? I don't know. You tell me what kind of donut I'm having today. I got a whole bunch, actually. Those things right there, those cronuts, oh man, I might have to get one of those. Please. Yeah. Fritter. Did one of these last time, I think I'm gonna stick with one. The cronut. There it is. The cronut. It is a deep fried croissant. Amazing. Mm. Fritters. Apple fritter. Look at that one. And do you know where we're at? Frey's Donut House, home of world's best coffee. Hello everybody, it's Trading with World's Greatest Caddy. I'm sitting here with some friends at a local establishment downtown St. Pete and uh, my friend Scott just disappeared. Wait, you can see him. He's right there. There's Scott. He's putting together a kite right now. We're going to try to fly in the streets of downtown St. Pete, so stay tuned. Not that you have to actually tune anything on this computer of yours, like the olden days where you actually had to tune a TV, a television, to uh, program the channel in at the right degree. You don't have to do that, but you do have to stay tuned, as in stay watching what he's doing. You see what he's doing right back there? It looks like he's setting up a revolution quad line. You should probably just stick around and see what happens with this. Or drop, that's it. <laughs> oh. Yep, it's coming around. Wind going down the track. Gotta get that. That's the bus shot. I got a motor car. Bus driver just enjoyed his time over there. Kites are fun. 
You're out of breath. Uh, that's what happens, right? There's no wind here. What is here is swirling left and right. That way, this way, maybe that way. I don't know. Nope, not that way. Maybe that way. <laughs> okay, yeah, that one works for the moment. This happens all the time in these street flying situations. Yep. You just gotta learn to deal with it Absolutely. and uh, get with the program on how to get them out without in one hand. So I'm gonna put the phone down. Look, my bridle's torn. You see it? Uh huh. kites and these work boots <laughs> and running like that is not easy <laughs> but up and over Scott though makes it look easy look at this guy <laughs> I'm sweating like crazy and he's making this look like he does it for a job or something, right. except for that part. <laughs> oh man, what a great time. If you guys need some exercise and, or you're just really interested in these indoor style of kites, this is a good workout. I'm telling you something else here. That's a good workout. You can see, you see all that? That's sweat, that's calories burning from flying kites. So both of us are pretty worn out. We broke three parts of the bridle line flying in this parking lot. It was pretty worn to begin with. Though. It's a pretty worn kite, but man. Hey, we broke a line too. Look at that. And we broke that's a line. Not, that's not part of the bridle line. This. You know, you can't really see it, but it's, yeah, it's broken, it. which happens all the time. Guys, yeah. if you start Especially playing kites, you get inspired by watching some of these videos and watching some of us fly in the street and in strange places. It is really fun, but occupational hazard. Be warned, you're going to break things. You're going to break lines. Absolutely. You're going to break kites. Concrete snags, asphalt snags. Concrete and... Bushes. Graphite and... And shrub debris, <laughs> yeah. straws, all kinds you of stuff. It. They break kites. Kites are not forever, but that's part of the fun of it. And you get to repair them, and repairing them is fun. It's part of kiting. Part of it. It's all good. It's all good life lessons and good application. So. Now hold the boat, come on. We got large Caesar salad. You want an extra side of Caesar dressing. Just sitting here with this guy. Hey. What do you think? What's your name there, little dude? You're a pretty big dude. Just sitting outside of the uh, Joey Brooklyn's Pizza Place here, downtown, beautiful St. Petersburg, Florida, waiting on our superb pepperoni and cheese. It's really good stuff. We had a really good time flying tonight. 
But as you saw, it can be dangerous sometimes. You gotta pay attention to traffic. You do not want to fly kites in the street if there's a lot of traffic. We knew where traffic was at and, and uh, we're paying very close attention to that. We knew where the power lines were and avoiding obstacles like that. But you see, when you, when you do take a chance and fly in the street or in parking lots, sometimes you fall over a curb or uh, you know the wind swirls around a building and you, you just lose the kite. And uh, it's, a, it's a fun thing, it's a challenge and it gets you used to flying in all kinds of situations, so it's fun. So if you are inspired by watching a video like this, and you want to take your kite out or purchase a kite somewhere and and fly it in the street which I completely endorse I think you should go to, to different locations as much as you can and fly kites if you're into it if, if it's something you're you enjoy find a street go in the front of your house go go in the, the streets around your neighborhood find a school nearby find a big parking lot uh, a Walmart it, in the evening uh, and a side lot or something where nobody's driving around and and challenge yourself and try to fly a kite in different situations but be safe about it enjoy yourself have a good evening I'll see you tomorrow thanks for watching thanks for subscribing I love you guys happy flying It's Taco Kichi. Kite crazy. Even with a broken bridle. Yep, uh huh. That's how kite bums do it. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, that's how kite bums do it.